Hi, my name is Andy Kolb. I'm the director of the Nemours Center for Cancer and Blood Disorders, a part of Nemours Children's Health in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, AML is a cancer of the bone marrow. It's a cancer that affects the um, cells in the bone marrow that uh, create the uh, myeloblast or myeloid progenitor cells. That's where the, a com the M comes from. And it's an acute leukemia, meaning that it tends to grow very quickly. Uh, and patients who present with acute myeloid leukemia uh, tend to present with uh, a lot of disease when, uh, when they're first diagnosed. Uh, acute myeloid leukemia or any type of leukemia can crowd out the normal blood cells in the marrow, uh, causing problems like anemia, um, uh, low platelet counts, uh, which would cause, cause bruising, and, uh, and can um, uh, suppress the patient's immune system, so their ability to fight infections. Uh, acute myeloid leukemia in children is most common in the first couple years of life, in, uh, in adults, uh, acute myeloid leukemia is most common in older adults, uh, adults over 50, 60, 70 years of age. And I think that highlights one of the main differences is that in adults, the risk for getting acute myeloid leukemia increases with age. In children, uh, the risk for acute myeloid leukemia peaks in the first couple of years, and then is pretty stable throughout the rest of childhood. And that speaks to the, um, the causes of acute myeloid leukemia in children and adults and the real differences between that. Uh, children have the same AML as adults get. Children get a very specific type of AML caused by a specific subset of mutations, and the treatment is often different. Um, much of the treatment is, is shared between children and adults, but the acute myeloid leukemia that we see in children is, is unique and requires uniquely intensive treatment, um, strong therapy to make sure that we can uh, get rid of the disease and, and hopefully cure the, the child.